the mind needs some time to be still. Just like the body needs to rest, the mind needs to rest as well. When the mind's rested, it can see things more clearly, and it has more strength. Sometimes you can see clearly what's the right thing to do, but if you don't have the strength to do it, that knowledge doesn't really help. So you need the strength as well. Now, what is the strength? The strength of con conviction that your actions really do matter. And the strength of persistence. You see anything unskillful coming up in the mind, you want to get rid of it. You see anything skillful or a potential for something skillful, you try to give rise to it. And the strength of mindfulness, which remembers these things and keeps applying them all the time, all the time, without this ability to remember. Again, the teachings just don't have any meaning. Whatever you've learned just disappears. So you've got to keep remembering what, which things are worth letting go of, which things are worth giving rise to, and when you've given, given rise to them, how you maintain them. And the maintaining, and the mind can settle down. That's the strength of concentration. That's where the mind really gets its nourishment. The Buddha compares concentration to different kinds of food. You're in a fortress on the edge of a frontier. Your soldiers are the right effort. Mindfulness is the gatekeeper who makes makes sure that only the good people come in and keep out the, the strangers. But that gatekeeper and the soldiers, they need food. So the concentration is what provides them with nourishment. Then finally there's discernment, which is the slippery wall of the fortress, which protects you from greed, aversion, delusion, getting any handholds on your mind. In other words, as soon as greed comes up, you've got a way to counteract it. As soon as anger comes up, you've got a way to counteract it. So these things don't waste your energy, don't kill off your effort. So remember, you're, you're in a dangerous place. That's, as the Buddha said, the frontier fortress. It's on the edge of the frontier where all kinds of spies and enemies can be coming in. In other words, all sorts of unskillful qualities. But if you've got your good stores of food, you've got your strong soldiers and your wise gatekeeper, and that slippery wall of your, your discernment, and it's all based on the conviction that your actions really do matter, Okay, that's when you'll be safe. That's when you can fight off the enemies. And even though we don't like to look at other things as enemies, you've got to realize some things are. It's, it's, it's not so much enemies outside, it's the enemies inside your mind, the things that will destroy your goodness, things that you tend to identify with. It's like letting a spy into the fortress. They can do all kinds of trouble. So that's why your mindfulness has to be really alert and very discerning to recognize who's reliable and who's not. In all these ways, the mind gains strength. So remember, when the mind is feeling weak and Ill, it's out of sorts, okay, stop and rest. Get the mind in concentration as best you can. And even, even if it's not the greatest concentration, it's better than not trying at all. And that way you have the strength to keep on doing the right thing, saying the right thing, thinking the right thing as you go through the day. 